Hey, everybody, welcome to today's live stream. I want to say welcome. <laughs> welcome all of our adventurers as we take another journey uh, in search of the joyful sound. And it's I'm calling today, I guess, Lores and More, because I want to make sure that uh, our time together, that we can cover a lot of things that have uh, been going on and just to kind of catch up and enjoy our time together. Lore's is just really an incredible collection and I can't wait to spend some time exploring that. So make sure uh, if you're live in the chat, uh, just let me know that you're there. And if you've got any questions, uh, just leave them in the chat and we'll just try to try to roll with it. Got, uh, got some interesting things, I, I guess, uh, to talk about today. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and what I'm playing here, I thought we'd just uh, catch up, uh, catch up with what we did last week with the um, Vienna Symphonic Library with their free piano. Someone had uh, made a comment about having a little difficulty uh, understanding the um, the installation process. So I thought I would just real quickly uh, just sort of go through this live and download the free uh, Fujara flute. And uh, that way we can have like a little walkthrough about how to uh, get these instruments into our system because it's, uh, I mean, I'm telling you, uh, I hear from good sources that uh, VSL is gonna continue to bring out more of these free instruments. So, um, so let's just go ahead and do that. So you're gonna need a couple of things. You're gonna need to, um, and I see my friend BF, David, uh, Paradise, Woody. Hey, good to see you, Woody. And Keith, uh, thanks you guys for joining us. Um, you know, you know, BF, I need to, I need to look at that. I think, yeah, I think, uh, you, you might be talking about, uh, Karoy for samples. They've got some really unique libraries. And, uh, so I'm going to have to, have to check, uh, check that out. So, um, you never know. You never know. I've, I've got a pretty open mind about things. So you, you never know what's going to show up on the channel. But uh, yeah, quickly, let's just do this. So um, you're gonna need to do two things. You're gonna need to set up an account with Vienna. And if you've not done that, um, you know, go to the main website and, you know, make sure you sign up for a Vienna account. You're also gonna need to uh, sign up for an iLock account as well, because that's the new copy protection uh, protocol that they've gone through. So make sure that you have a Vienna account and an iLock account. And the other two things that you need, you need to um, download the Vienna Assistant. And that is the application that allows you to, um, that allows you to download on and manage all of the libraries. So you're gonna need to download that. And another thing you're gonna need to download, you're gonna need to download the iLock Manager. So. Um, so you've got to have a Vienna account, an iLock account, get the Vienna assistant and the iLock uh, manager. Okay, so we're going to go through this, and it's uh, once you once you've done it. Oh oh, that's a sneak peek. So once you've done it a couple of times, uh, it's uh, you know you'll find that you'll be be really really easy to do it uh, the next time. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and download. I've not downloaded this, so this is gonna be uh, fresh. So I'm going to click on the free uh, Fuyara flute page, and you can see the price is zero. I'm gonna add it to the basket, and it says log in. So I'm gonna log into my uh, Vienna account, and there we go. I'm gonna log in here, and uh, ooh, okay, so let's see. because I'm using a different browser. And I think I remember my password. Nope. Okay, man. Okay, so 
<laughs> I'm gonna, ah, oh, gee, okay. Always remember your passwords. <laughs> Okay, let's see. And I might have entered the wrong one again. Nope. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is okay. So, hey, this is live. This is what we do. This is what we do here. So, I'm going to go ahead and open the other browser. I know I know I've got it saved in here. I've got so much stuff open. Hello, Christmas. Uh okay, we've got a lot of stuff here. Okay, here we go. So, let's just do this. <laughs> So let's go ahead and and I am logged in here because I see the green dot here. So let's go to the free Fuyara flute and add that to the basket. Thank you guys. You're all just so great. Okay, so we're going to proceed to checkout. And it kind of gives you an idea that you need the iLock account here. So that's that's helpful. Okay, so here we go. And this is kind of interesting too because it sort of... Uh, they sort of take you through the next steps. So you can download the VN Assistant for Mac and Windows. And um, and there we go. So we've got a confirmation. Let's uh, just look through here. Yeah, so there's your order confirmation in the email. And again, it tells you to download the Assistant, which I've already done. So now let's do this. We're going to, um, we're going to go ahead and go to the VN Assistant. Uh, da, da, da. And there we go. And let's see if we can refresh this. Um, not installed. And uh, the free instruments are there. So I've not refreshed uh, refreshed this yet. So let's see. Okay, there is a refresh here. Let's refresh that. Up in the corner here, you've got a little refresh. And boom, there we go. So the uh, Fuyara flute is um, right there. And let's download that. And it gives you a little information um, and it brings, um, you know, breaks it down where you've got the different mic uh, positions that you can select to download if you want. So I'm going to go ahead and install. The other thing that you've got to make sure that you do in the Vienna Assistant is go to Preferences. You have, a, you, have um, you know, a folder. You can select the folder where you want the downloads to happen. And then a default library location. This is where all the samples are going to be stored. And I've got mine spread out on multiple drives. And so you can change this uh, if you are downloading a new instrument. So that way it helps you to manage the space. And this is another important thing, your VST2 location. Make sure that this is set to where you have your VST2s located. So let's go ahead and click Install. And thank God for fiber. Um, we've got fiber uh, just recently, and it's just uh, been, been such an amazing uh, experience to have. And they got some cool things going on um, down here. Got about almost 400 megabits per second, and it's just such a it's such a joy to have that extra speed. Okay, cool. So there we go. Okay, so now we're we're in, it's installing, and I hope this is helpful. I, I know it's frustrating a lot of times when you have to deal with different download managers and things. Um, okay, so we're uh, installed. It looks like yes. So there is the free instruments there, and um, so let's um, let's go back and see if the license um, has been deposited. Okay. Oh man, JD, man. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Um, so let's go to my VSL. I remember those days, man. It's, it's incredible. Okay. So there's the flute library that we have here. And, um, I think it already kind of activated, uh, in the iLock manager. So let's open, let's go ahead and open the iLock manager here. And uh, let's see if we can refresh, refresh that. Okay, Vienna Soft Imperial, and man, let's see here. Let's sort it by. Um, okay, it hasn't been deposited, so you got to deposit it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're gonna have fun. I just want to make sure. Uh, okay, 
link iLock status. Okay, so it is deposited, so that's cool. So it already deposits it into your account. I'm gonna shut this down and I'm gonna relaunch the iLock manager. So it'll kind of refresh my licenses. And you've got to activate the license before it'll show up actually in the player. So, um, so here we go. Uh, where is it? Okay. Okay. Where is it? I don't see it. Dun, da, da, da. Let's just type in the word flute. <laughs> okay, so it hadn't been, oh, I've got to sign in, duh. Oh, there it is, okay, so there it is. So once you sign in, and I type the word flute to make sure I found it. So um, you see here, I've got Studio 2020, that's the, the computer, and then here's my iLock USB key. Now I can drag this onto the studio or the iLock. I, uh, you know, if you don't have the iLock, you want to drag it onto your computer. Um, so let's uh, let's go ahead and just do that. So I'm going to just drag and drop this, and now it activated that to the computer. So cool. So now we should be ready to go. So now when we pull up, I know you're there. You're sitting there waiting. So now when we pull up the Synchron Player, now there's the free Imperial, and now. Let's um, pfft. let's reinsert this because sometimes it just needs to know that it's there. Okay, Vienna Synchron. And uh, okay, man. Okay, let's see. Gee whiz. Thank you guys for your patience. I thought I thought this would be a little bit easier, but here again, it shows you what uh, sometimes you have to go through. Uh, with some of these, but once you get it going, it should be okay. Okay, there we go. And it's, uh, yep. There we go. Okay, it says it's installed. There we go. Okay, so let's, um, I don't know. The Hello Free Instruments. So, okay, there it is right there. And Synchron Collections, there's the free instruments. Okay, man, okay, so I'm gonna have to, um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to come back to this because it should be here in the, in the, um, in the player here. Oh, okay, let me do this. I'm going to just do this just in case, because sometimes um, it may actually. Ah, oh, gee, okay. So we're just going to. I'm just going to scan for um, for new plugins real quickly. Okay, we're almost there. You know, I always want to do things that uh, that can be that can be helpful uh, when I can, and um, you know, I feel <laughs> I've got to go through all these installations myself, and so if I can help you guys um, understand, because see, I'm not seeing it showing up in the player, so that's uh, that's an interesting um, that's interesting. Come on, I can hear the Jeopardy theme song in my head. Yeah, scanning, scanning stuff. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Okay, Vienna, okay, I know you don't want me to, come on, it should be getting there. Okay, so let's try this again. I'm going to reset this. I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to put it back in the Synchron Player.
Okay. So, so it looks like I, I, when I was messing around, it, it crashed. <laughs> so, okay. So let's, that's good. I forgot to do that. I forgot to do that. Um, so you've actually, you've got to go back in and authorize it um, in the iLock manager. So let's sign in. Yeah, we learn together. We learn together. So, um, okay, yeah. So this is, this is what I forgot to do. I forgot to click on this and you right click and you select activate. And I'm going to activate it to the iLock. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> that's fine. So now we're gonna, it's gonna activate there on my iLock USB. And I'm not gonna unplug anything. There we go. Yay, success. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, now, now let's open this up. <gasps> there it is. Okay, yes, yeah, so you've gotta, once you, <laughs> once you download the license, you gotta activate it, and then it will show up uh, in, the, um, in the player. So there we go, there we go. Yay, we did it. And this is kind of cool because it kind of ties in with lores. Yeah, I've got to learn some more about this flute. Sounds like the Africa flute. Yeah, so that's cool. Another free instrument and be on the lookout for more. Uh, so I hope that kind of helps uh, uh, a little bit jumping through, uh, jumping through some of those hoops. Uh, but once you do it a couple of times, um, let me get myself straightened out here. <laughs> once you get, uh, once you do it a couple of times, um, it, uh, you know, my wife says, you know, Simeon, you've just been breathing this stuff all your life and it just comes so easy. Um, yeah, it sounds like the Africa. Hurry boys, he's waiting there for you. Okay. Now, let's just catch our breath. And uh, so thanks, Vienna, for another wonderful instrument. And then the, B the Big Bang Orchestra uh, is also uh, available uh, in that free, that free player, too. So it's wonderful. Okay, so we, we're done with the iLog. I wanted to just show you something that I wanted to cover in an earlier um, live stream. And that is uh, something from uh, Sonic Couture. And yeah. It's, uh, it's an incredible uh, pipe organ. We've been doing like a lot of pipe organs here lately. And I think uh, VSL with the Great Rieger and then the Royal Albert Hall and then Sonic Couture has got their All Saints organ, which is um, totally different. They're all, they're all different. And I thought I would just play a little bit um, of this uh, for you guys because it's really a, a special organ. It's, a, it's not like the Albert Hall, um, it's, a, it's a little bit different. You've got um, the great, the swell and the choir and pedals, you've got all of your stops here. And you know, where the Albert Hall organ had almost 10,000 stops, this is a little, uh, little nicer uh, as far as a little, um, <laughs> a, a little bit uh, less um, massive, but it gives you a nice little intimate, um, nice intimate setting. And then the key switches up here actually let you turn the stops on and off. And you can, uh, you know, instead of sampling just everything together, they actually have given you the individual stops. So I'm going to just uh, go through a couple of these presets with you guys. And uh, then we're, then we're going to go into, into the next uh, frontier. Just a very nice intimate Very 
very delicate. And then you can click on the, um, you can click on the individual stops to enable those. And that's kind of cool. Now let's turn on some more. And you can hear the space, the spaciousness of this. Uh, you've got an effects section that um, has the hall impulse responses. Uh, you've got uh, filters and the chorus for that as well that uh, you can incorporate. Let's just do um, bright and full. And you've got the registrations. Yeah, that's fun. That is fun. Okay, so let's do the choir. So that's like for solos. You've got these bellows here. That's like the fan that's blowing the air through the, uh, through the pipes and you have an adjustment to it you know, attenuate that if you want to. I think what's neat about all of these instruments, pianos, pipe organs, string libraries, is the, uh, is the rooms and the recordings are all different, the personalities and the different ambiences and the different spaces, you know. I know just enough organ music to get me into trouble, you know. So it's just got a very beautiful tone to it. Just something just very special that they captured uh, with this. Um, let's uh, check out a couple of their sound design, um, their sound design patches. So Fantasyland, that looks kind of cool. <laughs> So they're probably using like the replica delays and stuff, the chorus. That's really neat. Okay, let's do one more sound design patch um, like the uh, pillow pad. So it's not a pipe organ anymore. Yeah, so that's a, a just a quick look at the uh, All Saints organ from Sonic Couture. Really cool. Just another, um, just another color 
in the uh, tapestry of your journey. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready to go to the valley or the jungle of lures? I don't know exactly if it's a if it's a uh, if it's a jungle or a, a a fog. All I know is it's just a it's just an incredible uh, instrument that they've put together. So lures, here we go. And thanks, guys, so much for all the support for hanging in there. Um, and this is kind of interesting. You'll notice that Lores is $199. This is not an intro price. Um, it's not an introductory price. It's just the price. And, and this is something that we're, we're looking at to see is Native Instruments just going to uh, start releasing libraries just at, you know, kind of do away with introductory pricing and just kind of price it, you know, one and done. That's it. That's the price here. Um, you know, JD, I would layer... Um, I would layer the organs with strings, and then, of course, like that last um, that last sound design patch, um, it it see it almost ceases to to be a, become an organ; it becomes something else. Uh, so, yeah, you could layer or, with horns; it's like French horns and that type of thing. A choir. So, there's all kinds of different possibilities that you can layer with, uh, and also the organ kind of sets a foundation that you can. Uh, put the other parts of the orchestra on top of uh, the strings and the and the horns and that kind of thing. So that's uh, that's an interesting way to do it. Yeah. So Lores was created in combination, well, in partnership with a company and a developer that we love is that Evolution Series. Um, Anthony uh, from Evolution Series is amazing, and Clinton Shorter uh, was. Uh, also instrumental in uh, creating this library. He, he did a lot of sound design uh, for a lot of movies. And I would really encourage you to um, watch this interview on the website. I watched it last night and it was just really uh, very fascinating to go kind of in behind the scenes. And we also did a, uh, man, almost a two hour live stream of the Evolution series here. And um, so I think that's, uh, that's great. And uh, here's my friend Reed. Good to see you. And um, I want everybody to join me in wishing uh, Reed um, a very special birthday today. It's a very happy birthday to you. And uh, so, yeah, like what you said, it's uh, since it is a Native Instruments product, most likely it will be included in the next version of Complete, uh, either um, Ultimate or the CE version. So if you tend to go ahead and do the complete uh, purchases, then this would probably find its way in there because it's a specifically a complete, um, I mean, it's a contact, it's a Native Instruments product. It's not a third-party product. So here we go. All right. So are you ready for this? Here we go. Let's do this. And um, so Lores comes, of course, as a um, contact instrument that shows up in the... Um, library here. It's a single NKI. I'm going to just drag and drop it over here just to get it get it fresh. Um, and the first, uh, let's see, come on. It's loading, it's loading, it's loading, it's thinking, it's thinking. There we go. And so the first patch that it comes up with, it's called a gentle soul. And uh, so here we go, man. Come with me into the land of lures.
Okay, so yes, that's just right out of the box. And, uh, and JD, yes, let's just uh, turn the reverb off. And one of the things that, that you're gonna see and hear in these instruments is that they, they move, they're moving, they're, they're, just, they're just alive in um, how they recorded this. So I'm gonna turn this reverb off and uh, that way we can just kind of get a little raw just a little, because they were recorded very dry, very nice and dry, so you can. Now let me solo. Let me just solo the cello in this patch here. Just listen to that. Just all of this stuff going on. Now let's listen to the clarinet uh, solo that. Now listen how dry that is. It was, all of these were recorded in the studio, so you, you're not fighting against a big hall, and that helps all of these sounds to kind of come together. And listen to that, you, you just lay in, you just wait. So it starts off static, And then the performer goes and does an imp like these improvisations. Okay, let's listen to the horse fiddle. Fantastic uh, instrument. So much going on in that. Now, I had to think of, I had to figure this out, but uh, each of these. Uh, each of these stages, you know, watch what happens now. I'm going to, I'm just right clicking, no, left clicking and holding. And you go, you go to the, to the left is pan. And then up and down is the depth of the stage. So you're, you're working with multiple mic positions for each of these. So I've got this uh, panned in the center and it's panned in the center now. It was shifted a little bit, but let's put it back in the center. And now let's take it, let's take it back a little bit. And you hear how the, the far mics start kicking in. And now when you use the expression, it will kick in different articulations. Okay, so for each, each of the sources, you have three different, um, three different sounds that you can uh, put in. So you've got three main sounds and you've got three sub sounds for each. So the, the horse fiddle has harmonic waves, sustained waves and finger tap bursts. And these are all, um, these are all mapped. Uh, this is mapped to the expression. And uh, so this, this is like uh, the finger tap burst. If you've got the expression set to 52 to 127, that kicks that in. Uh, and then this, um, the middle one is also kind of going along with the first, uh, the harmonic waves. And then for each layer, you've got uh, control over volume, pan, pitch, all of that. So you can further shape those things. Uh, let's go ahead and go into another, uh, another, preset here. Um, wow. And you've got so many here. Let's do, um, let's do Earth's Whisper. Um, and okay, okay, let me just show you this. So, okay, let's see. 
Uh, let me see how we can how I can show you this. Okay, yeah. So you click on the like the sound source here. You've got sixteen instruments. So we've got all different sorts of woodwinds, strings, and voices. Um, we even got a hurdy gurdy and some um, uh, nickel nickel harps and some really neat instruments. So you've got sixteen of those, and then you can drop the different. Um, different articulations into these sound sources. So I'm gonna jump into Earth Whisper again, um, just to get a fresh. And then what's cool is if you click on a sound source, um, well, <laughs> it was doing it. Okay, so, so if you click on one of these, so if you click on a preset, it gives you like a preview. And you can turn that off by hitting this little speaker icon there if you don't want to hear that. So let's go back to Earth's Whisper. And then we selected that and we'll check it. And here we go. Off we go. Baritone sax. So I've got uh, expression mapped here to my first slider and modulation on my second slider. And then like like I said, you like you push that expression, it's gonna go through some of those other layers. So all the way down, it's kind of calm. And then you kick in the expression. It gets a little busier, a little more dramatic. I think it's really interesting that we've got saxophone. These are just perfect for film scores, Ricardo. Absolutely. Um, and that's one of the things that uh, if you look at the uh, the video with uh, with Mr. Shorter, uh, how, you know, you create, they, you know, before all these sample libraries, they, they had to bring players in and record and sample and create all this stuff. And now, they, they give us these types of things, uh, such time savers, because there have been hundreds of hours of recording, editing, and programming to put all of this into this package that we just, we just open up, and we've got all of this work and resources that have gone into this. Um, so uh, let's do a couple more from the air category, um, deja vu. I feel like I played this patch before. Um, Rimshot samples not included. So we've got the uh, baritone sax. Got some reverb. The thing about the thing about what Anthony does with that with these instruments, like with the Evolution series, is that he just captures so much life. Listen to listen. He just lets the players express themselves. He just lets them express themselves and capturing capturing it, um, entering the woods. So we've got a trumpet, sax, and flute here. That's pretty cool. Let's just back this down. Wow. 
That's incredible. Pretty crazy. So it's storytelling. It, the, the sounds are just telling a story. Um, yeah, yeah, Reed. Let me see. You know, and I'm, you know, I have an idea that they did not recycle too much material. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm just wondering as well if 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 the material is um, just, um, you know, with all of the things that they went through with this, um, like using uh, some of the. Um, other things here. So let's see. Oh. Ah. So um, thank you for that. Let me just fire that up one more time. See if we can capture that. There we go. Yeah, we're all good. So let's see if we can find some of the some of the voices. And uh, let's see. Let's see classical and uh, air. It doesn't necessarily save voices, but let's see. But you know what we can do? Let's do this. Let me just um, let me just turn off the um, these this setting here, and let's just go into the voice category. Um, let's just go to the voice category. This is a new identity. That's wild. So when you play in chords, when they're moving. So you get those intervals happening. That's wild. Okay, all and nothing. Let's see if we've got anything happening in the layers. No, they're E. Okay, so we've got E ah. Okay, ooh, cool. There we go. So we've got uh, um, E E ah. Uh. You've got all of these different uh, phrases and uh, different things. Okay, let's load the E. Yeah, different phrases. Interesting, very cool. Okay, let's uh, let's just check out a couple more. Now this is some O mo moving.
Okay, let's just check out a couple more vocalizations here. Uh, we've got um, slow slide up. Interesting, and that's that's one of the things that uh, that they do when they're sampling these instruments. It's like it stays on something for a while, and then all of a sudden, there's this surprise that comes in, and it takes it into a, another place. Um, so this is just the phrase. Just some cool phrases that you can, and when you're playing. Cool, So you're holding a simple chord down and all of those harmonies and stuff are winding around in there. Um, okay, man, this is fun. This is fun exploring. Um, okay, so while we're here, um, while we're here, let's, uh, okay, so we've got, as far as strings that we have, we've got cellos, uh, as far as the sources, we've got uh, double bass, cello, violin, and viola da gamba. And, um, I'm always fascinated by the um, viola da gamba. So let's go to one of their presets, uh, Abacus. That's got such a... Now let me see. Let me see if they've got any other sound sources in there. Um, Okay, yeah, so this is just, okay, so let's hold on to this. So it says trill, yeah, yeah, you hear every once in a while it'll do something a little different. Oh man, okay, so let's, uh, let's check out a couple more of these. It is just, a uh, beautiful ancient land. Now this is still the Viola da Gamba. So this is like, like plucked. Now let's move the mic close. So we go, so we go into the stage and we just, we just mouse all the way down. So this is the close, and that's the thing. Um, the mic positions are infused in this stage and you have this macro control that you can just adjust that. And I love the, feed, the visual feedback. makes it so much nicer when you add nice reverb to it. Interesting. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. Um, okay. Yeah, JD, I'm going to address that. Um, I'm going to address that uh, later on, but because I had to, I had to do a really interesting workaround. Uh, it is, uh, so MIDI control, um, MIDI control on the X, uh, on the stage is not, um, is not something that, that is, um, you know, easy to do. Uh, but if you've got a complete controller, uh, I think they said that, uh, those are mapped if you've got a complete controller, but I've got a way we can do this, um, using uh, Unify, um, 
Yeah, The Chosen. Yeah, that is that is just an incredible series. And these types of sounds, these um, these really earthy, uh, unusual sounds, um, just really would really fit well. Um, okay, Bamboo Machines, and this is just the viola da gamba. You've got so many sound sources here. So it's like they're bouncing, bouncing it off the strings, doing all kinds of. Telling you, beautiful. Okay, let's um, let's just do a cello, and then uh, let's see. Let's just go. Um, yeah, <laughs> I might need to. Um, <laughs> um, um, yeah, yeah, man. It's like been in the '80s, so I'm showing a little knee there. I, ho I hope I hope I don't get uh, hope I don't get you guys too excited there. Uh, <laughs> Oh, that's funny. So I'm, I'll do. I'll do some. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> a lot of fun. Okay. That and that. Uh, yeah. That uh, I can't recover from that too well. I'll just have to drink to that, Robert. You're crazy. Yeah, man. I'm just. Um, I just got those. That winter. That winter thing happening there. <laughs> Incredible. Okay. So. Um, Adventure Spirit. Now, this is just a preset for the uh, cello uh, sound source. The thing about, uh, like, uh, JD, what you mentioned about MIDI, a lot of the engines have zones, four zones, and that you can X, Y over. What makes this different is that you have three separate uh, complete instruments that you can X, Y and mix. Um, so each one has a, has a mic position and a pan position. It's like, you feel like a mime here, you know, but uh, that's what makes it a, a little, uh, a little difficult, but, um, but we're going to get there. So this is, okay, uh, that's still viola da gamba. Let's go to, um, let's go to the cello and uh, adventure spirit. Here we go. Again, not static, not sterile, but alive. And then you can take these articulations and load them. You've, you've got three uh, possibilities that you can load different articulations in to have each of these. Um, It's amazing. I love it. I love it because see, you can uh, each. Okay, so let's just do this as an experiment. So uh, we're using the the cello texture, um, and let's um, let's just do bin waves. Oh no, let's just do uh, flautando waves in the first slot, and um, let's see um, sustain waves in the second slot and then um, slide down major third. Okay, now with each of these, I can say, now this is all playing at the same time. <laughs> so we can go expression. So flautando waves, I want to go from zero to 127. Now sustain waves, let's say I want to start the sustain waves when I get to expression 40, and then the slide down, I wanna wait until expression gets almost all the way to the top. So now I've got, um, okay, let's see, you've got my expression slider, expression slider all the way down. And that's just playing the, that first, okay, let's see. Uh, let's double check that. Uh, okay. Ah, okay, good. You got to turn that on. So we enable trigger via expression zero to 127. Now, what happens is now it'll work because you've got to enable that. So here we go. So that's the first layer. I'm going to push the expression up just a little bit more. Other 
another layer coming in. And as we push it further, now you hear all of the layers now. So you have all of those uh, possibilities. Um, okay, so let's just um, let's just get rid of these. Um, let's see. Let's see how we can just dis disable those. Uh, oh, okay, that's how you do it. You, we can um, we can hit the little eraser here. The little eraser will clear that layer. Let's clear this layer, and now let's go back. Uh, let's just do a little pizzicato here with the cello. And turn the reverb off just a second. Again, just very crisp and dry. And then you can just soak it if you want. And then we've got studio noise. That's the studio noise if you want to put that in there the noise floor. Cool. Okay, let's, uh, let's see. Let's, uh, let's try the uh, violin and uh, a ritual. This is a high and low motif. Yeah, again, wait and you'll and those little surprises come in. Let's listen to the pizzicato in the uh, in the uh, violin. Yeah, Reed, I do. I think it's a different voice. It sounds a little, it's, I guess it sounds a little darker uh, to me. I guess the tone, the, the vocal tone is a little darker in a way. But uh, yeah, I think it sounds different. But this is the pizzicato and the violin. It's got a little neat, a little neat bite to it. Yeah, it's got a nice little bite to it. Let's see, uh, we can do some shorts. That's cool. Okay, let's just go ahead and go through some more of the um, of the main presets here. the The neat thing is, yeah, aye, aye, Captain. Um, yeah, so you can either go through the um, the main browser here, or you can drop down the um, the snapshots, and you can also browse that way. Um, we can go to hybrid. We've got uh, classical, hybrid, air, and tails. And let's just check a couple of, uh, of the tales here. Um, ooh, a waiting, a waiting. So we've got hurdy gurdy. Yeah, you know, Harvard, I agree because it, it has to go back. It has to go back to the developer and the the one that has the vision in the heart. Anthony's heart just goes into these instruments and that's what you can feel uh, as he produces and gets these performances out of these musicians and vocalists. I think that's what makes these have something a little special in them. Um, that's, uh, 
That's what, and this is not a paid, uh, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, this is not a paid endorsement or whatever. Uh, I'm just, I am blessed, you know, uh, Native Instruments and Anthony from Evolution Series, they did provide me with a library, but you know, you guys are always going to get my, um, my honest reactions and everything. Um, you know, I just love exploring with you. You know, that's the joy that I get is spending time with you and in, in, and getting surprised myself and enjoying these journeys. Um, so this is a waiting. We need more power, Captain. Yeah, yeah, BF. I'm all. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah, now listen to the movement. We've got the, the hurdy gurdy. Let me solo that. Let me see. Solo. Did I solo it? Just, just that. Oh, yeah. That's raw, and and let's just. Uh... <laughs> she got sax, soprano sax, and. Uh... The the um, winds, the saxes have such. Uh, they've got just air, just so much air. Oh, okay, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> so this is cello and double bass. Um. Balance landing, and we've got uh, nickel harps and horse fiddle and the Comanche. And in that interview, uh, the uh, he talks about how he used the Comanche in the District Nine soundtrack, and and how this sort of uh, you know this whole idea of these world instruments and these unusual instruments and shaping them with sampling. Oh, this is nice.
It's all of the little things happening in the background and you can just see the player just not staying on the same thing, but just moving around and just, just the slightest. And it creates such a powerful things when everything is just kind of happening together. And then the expression. It just lets you go to so many different places. It's like we're sitting at, at the edge of that lake and the... Yeah, listen to that. Yeah, man, you see what I'm talking about, or you hear what I'm talking about. You hear, and then you see. And I know I say this all the time, but I see with my ears. I see with my ears. I see these different things happening inside of these sounds, and uh, it transports you. It, 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 it's transformative and transports you into some crazy, um, oh, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, I've got all kinds of stuff going on around here. <laughs> These are my trusty Tenoys uh, behind me, and uh, they are muted because if they were on, they would, you know, we would have all kinds of interesting sounds. Um, um, oh, let's see. Okay, let me see what what uh, what we're talking about. I'm not sure exactly what we're what we're looking at, but. Um, yeah, I've got lava lights, and I've got uh, my potato, my mouse potato, um, all kinds of fun things going on. Okay, let's just check out a, a few more of these. Uh, basement, okay, uh-oh, basement presence down, minor third. Now, I've learned to just hold on to these. Listen how rich that is. Okay, I got you, Ricardo. Okay, there we go. Okay, now that, there we go. I knew something was going to happen here and this is it. So I was waiting for something to happen, but it didn't happen. So I thought, okay, velocity. So when you click into the double bass, you can see that the uh, trigger, it's triggered with velocity. So I was playing uh, softer and um, yeah, so those falls are being uh, triggered by the, uh, by velocity, so watch. So I'm gonna just play a little soft and we've got just the natural stuff going on, but let's just slam, uh, just play a little bit harder. There we go. We're falling down to the basement now. <laughs> okay, so let me go back to what where we were. Uh, I think it was uh, balance landing. And okay, so <clears throat> so it's okay. So 
to my um <laughs> yeah soft with the left and slam with the right yeah it's like yeah <laughs> okay so the first slot is the comanche and that's um that was like one of the original instruments that uh inspired the composer when he was working on district nine um so this is the comanche It's just a really interesting stringed instrument. And then the horse fiddle. And we'll solo that. It's just got such overtones and presence to it. You hear the rosin, you hear the bow, you hear all of it just kind of. And then nickel, the nickel harps. Um, And it sounds like a stringed instrument as well, just a really interesting. I think this is what was. Thanks for subscribing, Beijing. This is just the nickel harps. Man, wow. That is that is so cool. That is so cool. Okay. Um let's uh let's check out a couple of the tails and this one was in the balance landing was um in the balance landing um so let's go to um okay i want to turn off the preview sometimes that kind of scares me when i'm hitting something and um um and it just kind of jumps out but that's kind of neat because you can kind of get a little preview of the texture um so this is called the Cathedral of Exile. We've got the voices, the nickel harps, and the hurdy-gurdy. And um, so let's just see. Let's see with our ears. Let's see where, where this is going to take us. Um, oh, I've got it so got it soloed. I've got it soloed. You can't hear anything else. Almost sounds like a pipe organ. Now let me just click into this. Fourteen forty one official. Thank you for subscribing, man. I appreciate that support. Yeah. So I, I've seen some things about the uh, about the pricing, and again, I think that they are doing a new model, a new pricing model with these. 
uh, because uh, it did not come out on intro. A lot of times when they introduce a new library, it'll be like 149 and then the original price will be 199 I think that, um, you know, there's a lot of companies that are just kind of saying, let's figure out a balanced price and... Um, so it's it's like it's like going into a used car lot, you know, and and you know you see the price of the car, yeah, that's not the price you're going to pay, uh, you know, and so there's there's some angst and things that can go um, <laughs> that can go on, you know, sometimes, and I think they're trying to eliminate a lot of that. So yeah, I think it's the. Uh, Nothing like a whole tone scale to put a little mystery into things. Yeah. Okay, let's go. I love the fact that um, that they're they're approaching this as like this is an instrument that that will tell stories, uh, that will support your narrative if you're doing video scoring and that kind of thing. Um, this is the ceremony of truth. You get a little dissonant, you know. And then land on the, uh, just kind of go there. That expression takes you through those additional layers. It really is an expression control. It, you know, some expression controls don't express too much, but when you're going through different layers, storytelling. Storytelling and painting pictures, um, painting pictures. Okay. Oh man, we've got so much that we can explore here. Um, hey, Pixel. Yeah. So yeah, definitely it'll come back with the replay, and um, definitely check that out. Um, lots of fun things. We had some fun uh, earlier. Enlightened, and I think we're still in the tales section. Cello and violin together, and let's just look. Uh, sol pont, sol pont bursts, and the uh, same on both of these. And um, let's go. Man. Hey, Kisam, good to see you. There's some lovely, it's, 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 um, it's interesting because there's a, it's kind of dark, it's kind of light, it's kind of uh, sad, it's kind of happy. The, the, all of the emotions are captured in this because you're capturing the emotions of the performers. They're, you know, he captured these these musicians and performers, emotional performances, and it's transferred beautifully that's what you hear that's what moves you is you're hearing the sound of the performer pouring their heart and soul into uh, these recordings
Good night, Ricardo. Have a nice rest and look forward to seeing you again. Okay, we've got to maybe... I want to see something. Let's go to the soft imperial and go to the ethereal. And again, I'm going to link these two tracks together. So I've got the piano.
Staring in the darkness It looks like there's no hope Dark clouds are around We've run out of places to go So I look up to the hills From where my help comes from My help comes from above My help comes from you There is hope There's always hope We just have to look a little bit Higher And farther And deeper I know that there Waiting somewhere, just out there. So don't give up. Give up, never give up. Oh, we can never give up as long as there is hope, as long as we have each other. We just gotta hold on. I see the things you see And I feel the things that you feel None of it makes sense to me None of it makes sense to me But yet I hope That one day soon that the sun will shine once again And there'll be beauty come from the ashes Of this crazy senseless time You will bring beauty from the ashes As hope shall arise tell you what, you never know what, what's going to happen. And that's why I love being here with you. Um, that's why I love being live. That's why I love being live. It's not canned. It's not rehearsed. It's just like it's, it's, this is just me and you and all of you, all of us together, just sharing these moments. And that's what I think is so spectacular. That's what makes, that's why I do this. This is, this is why I do this. This is why I do this. I don't do it for a free library. I mean, golly, I don't do it for, you know, just to get free stuff, you know? I went, I went through that phase a long time ago, and I'm just so grateful and blessed to, 
to be able to sit here with you and share these beautiful moments together. Man, how do you recover from this? Um, well, we just keep moving on, yeah. But that shows you the power of this. Um, it just shows you the power that's inside of this, what they put in there. So it's like it's 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 like a, a piece of firework. Um, it's like a okay. So we had this Thunder Over Louisville event uh, this past weekend, and you take these fireworks and um, and they're in they're in the shell, but then they go up and they explode in these beautiful colors. That's what we're experiencing here. All of this stuff is packed in. And then when we play it, it's like it gets released and it's just, we just do not know. Um, we do not know. Uh, man, <laughs> Asisha, are you ready, kids? <laughs> are you ready? Um, who lives in a studio under the sea? Simeon does. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna go back to this uh, a little bit, but but I want to show you something because uh, I think uh, JD mentioned um, something earlier about the XY about the XY uh, controls on the stage, and of course we have our dear friend Unify here, and this is what I did. I went. I created a um, created a Unify patch for this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, my gosh. Okay. So, <clears throat> yes, yes. You know, my, my, my beautiful wife, she says, she says, honey, you're going to get hot doing these, the, doing these live streams. It said, you just need to, you know, maybe put on your shorts. And so, yeah. Hey, listen, it's better than not wearing anything at all, like on those Zoom calls. It's uh, crazy. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, I don't know. I, I just, I, I think it's a spectacular. I mean, for what's, what's packed in there, um, what is packed in there, Harvard, it is just, um, it's amazing. Saban, or do you want in? Okay. Okay. You look, you look, we're family. We're family. So, okay. So it's, let's, let me see. We, I've got a, I've got a visitor. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Well, I guess he didn't want to hang around, but he was, uh, <laughs> he was at the door. He was at the door. So maybe one of these days we'll introduce Saban to you guys. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. A fan would be really great. It, it just have to get the noise reduction, but, uh, but yeah, let's go back to this. Um, I, I found a couple of things. Um, I want to go to unit back to unified and just show you something that I, I just kind of, um, just kind of worked on because I love to have the control, especially with with the SL88 having the XY controller here. But this is a different uh, different instrument, so I'm going to um, I'm going to load up um, Unify and bring up Lores. And so since um, since each of the three sources, uh, each of the three sources here, they have the stage, the far, and the near, and then the pan. So each one has a different um, different control. So you basically have six different controls. So you would almost need three joysticks. Um, so let me show you what I did. Unify has what's called link, linked parameters. And um, so I can have all of these mac macro knobs here and I can assign these to a link parameter. So what I did, you go here and I've linked, um, I've linked the first two knobs here to left pan, left distance, and then, then the next two, mid pan, mid uh, distance, and then right pan, right distance. So you go into link parameters and you click here and you go down to instrument and it shows lures. Let me scoot this over here so we can see so it doesn't get cut off. And it's lures. And then here we go, plug in contact. And look at this, all of these different parameters are exposed that we can link it to something. And so you've got instrument left pan, instrument left distance, middle pan, distance, right pan, and distance. And so that's what I did. So now I can take, um, I can take the, the sliders here now, 
Now watch what happens. A minor setback is the preset that we have. Well, let's go back, Let, yeah, let's go to, uh, to an, an, uh, maybe a more ethereal, let's go to an air, uh, Anthem of Souls. Okay, yeah, this has got some voices and trumpet too, so. Now watch what happens. I'm going to, uh, I can pan. Now I have control over each zone. Inside of Unify. So Unify gives me the ability to map these controls so I can go to all of these different sound sources. Let me go to the voice. Sabin, I know, honey, I'm sorry. Is it, it might be, it must be raining. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the, uh, these, two con these two sliders here. Okay, I still have the uh, piano linked, so let's, um, let's go here. Let me just make sure this is the only thing I'm playing here. Okay, I've got it panned all the way over. So let's move that over. Now I can push it back. So that gives you some hands-on control. If you don't have a complete control, uh, that uh, that is something that is really cool that you can map map these controls to um, to mess around with the uh, these stages here. While I'm here, I want to show you what there's been there's there is a crazy situation in contact that um, that is really frustrating sometimes when when you're working in contact and unify and you want to change voices, but it but the save dialog pops up all the time. And it's so hard to get to it, but I discovered a trick. So, um, so what I want to do, I made some edits. If you make an edit and you try to load another uh, sound, it's going to say, "Do you want to save it? Are you sure?" So I made some, I made some changes here. So I'm just going to load Lores back into Unify here, and uh, let me see if it uh, popped it up. Yeah. Okay. So, so I can't, I can't do anything because there is a window behind here. See, I can't even click on the navigation bar because it locks it out. This is another cool trick here. So, so you can see when I hover, there's that dialog box that I can't get to. And um, so I wanna, I wanna get to that so I can say yes. So this is what, saving honey. I wonder if you guys can hear it. Uh, okay, so what, what we do here, we want to right click and it says move, that just pops up, this word move. So watch, we hit move and that crosshair comes up and we just click and there it is. There it is, I can grab it and it, and it lets me grab that so I can say yes. Um, so yeah, let me show you one more time. Um, so I'm going to, um, I'm just gonna change to, uh oh, okay. Uh oh, hold on a sec. Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wait. Uh, yeah, the kitty is. Yeah, he's he's fussing. Okay, so now let's try this again. So I'm gonna load, let drag lures in. And you hear him? He's fussing. Okay, so it brings up that dialog box here, but I can't get to it unless I go right click, and left click and on move, and now hold. And there it is, there it is, right there. That's such a that's such a blessing. It's and and uh, it, it's been driving me crazy too. And I just discovered it by accident. Indiana Bones. It's just like I'm so glad that I found that. So that is your uh, Unify Sanity tip of the day. So um, let's. Uh, okay. So Alt Tab Enter. Okay. Let me try. Let me try that uh, because I've been trying so many different things. And listen, that would be great. Alt Tab Enter. So let me try that. F major, F sharp major. And sometimes I try to, uh, okay, okay, Alt, Alt, Tab. Look at all these windows that I've got open, it's crazy. Alt, Tab, Enter. It's still there. See, I, that's, that's the thing, I thought, 
I thought it would work. I thought that would work. But, you know, the thing is, what what I know that works for sure for me, uh, I've tried the alt tab and just trying to select it and even trying to hit the yes um, a lot. Move, hold it, drag it. So when it changes to the crosshair, just click that left mouse button and uh, just hold it. And then that, that just kind of lets you grab that. Okay, so good. There we go. Okay, so let's go. Let's get back to our regularly scheduled program with Lores from Native Instruments. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Okay. And then uh, I don't know if I'm going to completely unify Lores, but if there is an interest in that, um, please. Um, ooh, BF, I'm going to have to try that too. Um, oh, you know what? Let's try. Let's just try that because I'm all into figuring out solutions. Um, because I think, yeah, that might, that might work. So I'm going to just change a little parameter and let's, um, oh, well, of course that's not a unify. I'm not going to do that. Let's launch unify again and bring this up and change something. And let's try to drag and drop it. Okay. There's the window there. Okay. So on a cursor, ah, BF, 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 BF. That's incredible. Yes, I think that I think that actually worked. Yes. Okay, that is fantastic. You win. You da da da. I I dub thee. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So th yeah. Sometimes the easiest things are right there in front of you and. Uh, but yet you just need that little extra, uh, that little extra help uh, in order to, uh, to see it. Thank you, thank you. So, okay, cursor left, then press enter. When you make that change and that window pops up, cursor left and then hit enter. Um, okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's really amazing. So yeah, when you pull up that window when you cursor left, you can see it move, so that's great. Okay, <sighs> let's return to our regularly scheduled program. Um, and uh, let's just go through some, some more. Okay, so Indiana, so if that dialog box ever pops up behind the window in Unify, just cursor to the left and hit enter because it'll move that uh, selector to yes instead of no. It defaults to no. Uh, so if you hit enter, it, it would say no. But if you cursor left and hit enter, it'll let you load the new presets. So, um, all right, so let's just see where we are with, um, with lures. So this is entering the woods. Okay, let's, um, let's just go through a few more of these. Thank you guys so much for um, hanging in here and going on this amazing journey with me. Um, yeah, you've got the classical announcement. Oh, after 20 years, that looks really interesting. We've got flutes, cellos, and trumpets. Expression just increases the intensity.
again, just so expressive, so expressive and beautiful um, all the way home. We've got some more nickel harps and alto flute. Wow, what an amazing time that we've had today. Man, so wherever you are in the world today, or at night, or in the morning, in the afternoon, I wish you all the ble the blessings, the blessed. I wish you all the blessed. And always look for the hope, always look for the light. Yeah, see, here we go again. I loved spending my time with you as we did another live stream. Told some tales of wonder, had some fun, shed some tears along the way. So I'll see you next time, maybe in a day or two. And I wish everyone, God bless you and you. This is Simeon Ambergy with praisetracks.com, home of the joyful sound. And I look forward so much to seeing you guys and BF, guys and gals, all of you, my dear friends, next time. God bless you.